Hi Libra! <laughs> Welcome to your February reading. I'm only laughing at myself, <laughs> to be honest. So I know that we're getting a little bit of a late start. I had some family things come up and it is Mercury retrograde. Like, am I the only one that's being affected? I'm so distracted right now, it's insane. My Libra rising is like balance, and I'm like, how? <laughs> so I get it. We're going to do this really, really intuitively because that's what Mercury want, wants from us. And I will probably slip up all my words through the entire reading. So thanks for your patience and please bear with me. I do have some new merchandise on the website. Love Soul Gear is available. You can get a sweatshirt. We also have baseball tees stuff on your phone it's so cute and i have this really cute little goddess mug so fearlessintuition.net get in the vibes i also have an astrology reading that's connected to the love soul brand i guess um, it's not a synastry reading it's not a composite reading this is a reading where we can look to see where you might meet your divine partner how you might meet your divine partner and the things that you need to heal to raise your vibration raise your vibration to attract your divine partner i'm trying to speak slowly so i don't mush the words together because that's usually how this manifests for me how mercury retrograde manifests for me is like mushing all of the words like i make new words because i push them together so when I was meditating on the Libra energy for February, um, the movie National Lampoon's Vacation came up, the one from the early 80s where they're driving to Wally, Wally World um, with Chevy Chase and, oh my gosh, I forgot her name. Anyway, uh, the Griswolds, right? So I was... That movie came up and it was literally the scene where they're running in the parking lot to the Wally World entrance and they're like the dun dun, the Chariot's Fire song is playing and they're running to that scene to the entrance in slow motion and they get to the entrance and it's closed. <laughs> like that's Libra energy where <clears throat> there's this buildup that sort of happens during Mercury retrograde, maybe even before there's this buildup that happens and, um, and it's like anticlimactic. <laughs> like, like you get to that destination or you get to the point and then you realize that the whole buildup and all of the things that happened to occur to get to where you wanted to go was like in vain, you know? So what's interesting, the way that we're going to have to, like, we're going to have to pivot. There's going to be a lot of pivoting that happens this month. There's going to be a lot. I knew that there were two cards here. There's this transformation that's definitely occurring, but it's, but you're still manifesting things. You just have to understand that right now you may feel a little bit restricted when you're trying to get to that goal. You're trying to get to that aspiration or you're trying to get like whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, there will be bumps and bruises along the way. Par for the course. That's what this energy is. And it's all air energy. It's all Aquarius air energy. And, and it's squaring off with all of this really stubborn Taurus energy, you know? So we have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Magician. And we have the four of wands so there's this manifesting of stability that's happening and while we're trying to manifest this stability and this is like leading into february right so we're manifesting the stability we're manifesting this new safety this new environment this new feeling and you can't be restrictive with it that four of pentacles is very restrictive and it can hold you back because you're not allowing a flow like you're being very, um, very rigid. This is exactly the way that it has to be. You know, tunnel vision, not thinking out of the, outside of the box, not opening yourself up to anything, just tunnel vision. Um, so that's what we want to avoid is the tunnel vision part. It, 
there's more than one way of getting things accomplished. And if you're not supposed to be getting things accomplished, it's time to plant those seeds and then take a step back. Right? The seven of pentacles. It's time to plant that seed and take a step back. Then we have the five of cups. And over here, we have the death card and the queen of pentacles is hiding behind the death card which is a little ominous, it feels like. But there's some kind of transformation that's happening with this earth sign. Could be a Virgo with the magician up here. Could be a Scorpio with earth in their chart. Literally could be any sign. It actually doesn't matter. Just whatever resonates for you guys. The Five of Cups is about dwelling on the past, dwelling on the things that we've lost, dwelling on the things that... Um, we had that had to be like they had to fall by the wayside so that we could make room for new things. But it's like sitting in that misery, even though the two of cups is still over here and still standing up. So you still have stuff. You're just not paying attention to the stuff you're you're not paying gratitude to what you still have, even though things you have fallen away. Right, Libra? That's what the five of cups is. So recognizing where you're pining or romanticizing about past things that have fallen off, recognizing where you're sort of pining about that stuff and resetting your energy, that's going to save you. That's going to save you from the pining. That's going to save you from the desire. That's going to save you from the longing part because we don't, we can desire things and not need them at the same time. You know what I mean? That The pining suggests the need, the longing, like I can't live without it kind of thing, right? And, the, and yes, we can desire, we can wish, we can dream, we can do all of that, but we don't want to do it in a way where it's um, dependent on our mood, right? Defining how we feel. That's not, that's not where it's at. That's not where the vibe is at. So, for, ooh, when in doubt, listen to your intu intuition. Listen to your intuition, God. I think I just did a whole nother word. I told you I was going to make up words. And there's something in my eye or bothering my eye. Knight of Swords on the Four of Pentacles. You don't have to rush to make the money. You don't even have to rush to, um, this, this feels like you have to rush to find an answer or you have to rush to like feel defined by something or feel secured by something. That's what that Knight of Swords on the Four of Pentacles feels like to me. The High Priestess with the Magician. The High Priestess is clarifying the Magician. Everything that you're manifesting is coming from an intuitive gut instinct kind of place right now. Uh, and if it's not, that's where you need to get back to. Mercury retrograde is not about trying to find the logical side of things. No, we are putting our minds, take your brain out of your head and put it on a shelf because it's of no use to you right now. We got to go by the gut instincts. We have to rely on our emotions. And so sometimes that's why the nostalgia comes up, right? You could also be dealing with a Pisces energy here, but um, don't argue about the material side of things because if you really think about it, Nothing exists. We, you know, we we want to live in the quantum field. We want to live in the part where our energy is attracting stuff, and not in the part where we feel like we have to be defined by the stability of our life and by the stability of things. You see what I'm saying? So this four of wands security is really about that safe space, that safe zone. You know, we went through all of that fourth house stuff with all of that heavy Capricorn energy, Capricorn. Capricorn Saturn, Capricorn Jupiter, all of that fourth house stuff, that really showed us how to define ourselves as the as our safe space, as our safe zone. And, and the lessons behind that to create an environment that reflected that safe zone that we had on the inside, right? That was all that Capricorn energy. So now we've moved into 
the Aquarius side, and it's more about enjoyment. Like, where are you finding joy in all of this, Libra? Are you, are you experiencing intensity based on the fear? Or are you allowing yourself to be in gratitude and enjoy life no matter what the outside looks like? No matter what the, how all the things that are happening. Because this month could easily stress a person out. I mean, if you want to argue with your family members, you absolutely can. Or you can recognize that really nobody's at their absolute best right now. Like, nobody is at their best. Everybody is showing their asses. You know, Mercury is going to be squaring Mars this month. There's just so many things that the more things that you say out of fear and anger, the more that's going to bite you in the ass when Mercury is in this post-shadow period. Because it'll all come back again. We're going to review all this energy all over again. As we even shift into Pisces season, right? And you'll be able to manifest more and feel a little bit more secure to manifest when the sun hits Pisces on the 19th. Or is it the 18th? I don't remember if it's a day early or not. But um, so really trusting your intuition and trusting that direction that you're going. That's going to be where it's at. Let's see what the Seven of Pentacles is. The seeds that are being planted right now. Now is a really good time to plan stuff. Maybe not so much execution, um, but the planning period. And it's what's, what's really interesting is you will second guess every single idea that you have. You will second guess every single opportunity, every single idea, every single thing that comes your way. There will be like that, question in your mind, is this really what I should be doing? Should I change this up? Should I switch this up? How am I going to do this? And it's going to be so bumpy. Nothing's going to be perfect, Libra. There's no straight lines, right? Zero. I mean, what the Aquarius symbol, right? The zigzaggy, like no straight lines are happening right now. It's all about the water bearers and it's quick and fast. It's quick and fast. I mean, like I'm doing this reading and we're literally only a week and a half away from Pisces season already. You know, so the five of swords and the ace of wands on that seven of pentacles, don't let yourself get into that lack mentality in your mind where the narrative is always negative and you're always telling yourself that it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. That's based on a perception of what's happened to you from your past, right? Five of cups, that five of swords, lack mentality, that narrative that you tell yourself, it's all based on the things. It's a perception because You've already, like, you feel like you've already been in this state of mind, or you feel like the last time you really tried to get something off the ground, it failed, or you feel like the last time you tried to attempt to do this, but you have to remember that the last time the energy was different, the last time you were in a different space, everybody else was in a different space, everything else that was going on it was in a different space, it was with different people, it was with in a different environment, you know what I mean, like, totally different than the last time and whether that means it's a relationship, a new relationship, whether it's a new job, whether it's a, a new venture that you're doing, whether you're moving, it doesn't matter what it is. The thing that you are requiring, require, the thing that you need to remember, <laughs> stop trying to be smart during my career, that's okay. The Virgo always does that. Um, the thing that you need to remember is that you have grown in tremendous ways. So now you're attracting new energies into your space. And this lack mentality and those new energies are giving you new ideas and new feelings and new emotions to move through. So this lack mentality is something that can sabotage you if you allow it. Or you can look at things from a different perspective, release the trigger that, oh my gosh, Nothing is going to work out this time because of last time, because of how it looked last time. And allow yourself to see that, like I said, you're not in that lower vibration. You're in the Ten of Cups higher vibration. Do you see the difference of 
not projecting your past onto your future, like that's not what we're going to be doing. Just because Mercury is making you a little bit more nostalgic than usual, the things that used to bring you passion and joy are different now. That's what we're looking at. So that 10 of cups on the five of cups, you just added five cups to that narrative. You lost three. How about that? You lost three and you added eight. It's almost as if the universe is sort of just handing you things on a silver platter and you're recoiling. Like, I don't know if I want to eat that because of the last time I ate it. Whoever prepared it last time, it was gross. I don't know if I want to eat that. But it's prepared by somebody else. It's a different energy going into it, probably seasoned differently. Whatever it is that's on the silver platter. So it's new, improved, the 2.0 version, if you will. So not feeling like you have to be restricted in that energy or tell yourself that it's going to go go poorly or you know that way again bottom of the deck is the six of swords so we're moving into a new lighter kind of energy oh look at that so with the earth sign, there's this transformation that's happening. And it's almost as if there's this, um, overcoming a feeling of deception. But what is that feeling of deception? So we have the seven of swords. We have the Six of Wands, and we have the King of Wands on the Queen of Pentacles. But it's like the authenticity and the winning, so you could be dealing with a fire sign as well. But I almost want to say that that's sort of your energy. Because the six of, so six of Wands for me, especially with the Six of Swords here, oh, there's that Earth energy again. But it definitely feels like you're, mo you're, you're rising above. You're moving in an easier, flowing direction, not because you don't want to rock the boat. You don't give a shit if you're rocking the boat. You just know what you want, and you're not going to allow this deception from the past or even the present or even the recent past or wh wherever it is, right? That seven of swords, it could also be that this fire sign is deceiving you in some way. Maybe the maybe it's the earth sign that's that's keeping things real and it's the fire sign that's being deceptive. But in however that is playing out, however that's manifesting for you, whether it's earth or, or fire, there's almost this like you are able to get over it or you're able to rise above the whole situation or you're able to see things from a different kind of perspective where maybe it isn't so it's not such a dis destructive or disruptive you've detached yourself from that emotional um reaction you see what i'm saying and you've risen above and not just to sweep it under the rug libra's i mean like let's just be honest i, I mean i'm a libra rising and i do the same thing like i don't want to get into a confrontation with you i'm going to try and figure out what's the best for everybody involved because that's where i'm coming from i'm coming from everybody's best intentions not just mine but when it comes down to it and you feel like you have to put up your boundaries or put up your restrictions or put up your blockages in some way shape or form with other people there's no flow there and you really have to be willing and being able to and allowing like giving yourself permission to be like, I don't have to put up with your pettiness. I don't have to put up with your bullshit. I don't have to put up with any of this stuff because clearly you don't realize what you're saying right now. You see, and, and everybody's talking out of their ass. Everybody is being deceitful. Everybody is harming everybody else and they're not stopping to think about the long-term repercussions, right? They just want that satisfaction right now. I got this person, right? 
So it feels like there's almost an easier flow, like an easier direction, because you're not buying into it. You're keeping your distance. You're keeping yourself detached from it. And that's perfectly fine. Honestly, Libra, it's perfectly fine. And if you want to just be in your own space, manifest from, like, really, like, because that's going to be the best way for you to stay grounded. Manifest from that gut. And really, like, taking charge and taking control of all of your manifestations and everything that you're doing. The Emperor the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and we have the Fool and the Strength card at the bottom of the deck, you guys. This is what I'm saying. There's no need to put yourself out there in a world of chaos right now if you don't absolutely have to. There's a lot of really amazing things that you are manifesting right now. And it's all coming from a place of genuine authenticity, right? And, and in order for you to remain in that space, not dealing with the fuckery that's happening, right? That's what we're, we're moving away from. All right, guys. So um, I do have 20% off of the 30-minute live tarot, personal tarot readings. That information is in the description box. And get your love soul astrology reading before they're out. I love you guys. Thanks for your patience with this, and I will see you really soon. Bye.